Excited about the upcoming NVIDIA RTX 50 series graphics cards? Well, who wouldn't be? This next generation of graphics cards, also known as the Blackwell architecture, is set to follow the current RTX 40 series, and it's already causing quite a stir. With rumors of a wider memory bus, support for next-gen technologies and potentially impressive performance, expectations are sky-high. But, as always, the mystery only adds to the anticipation. So, what do we know about the NVIDIA RTX 50 series so far? Uh, first things first, when can we expect these new beasts? While we haven't received an official word from NVIDIA, the rumor mill is churning with whispers of a late 2024 or early 2025 launch. It's all speculation at this point, but the timing does seem intriguing. Strategically, it could be NVIDIA's countermove to AMD's RDNA 4 GPUs, which are expected to hit the market in 2024. But remember, in the world of tech, release dates can be as elusive as a chameleon in a bag of Skittles. A lot can happen between now and then. Technological advancements, market shifts, even global events can impact the timeline. So, while we're excited about the potential of NVIDIA's RTX 50 series, it's always wise to take these rumors with a pinch of salt. So keep your calendars marked for a possible late 2024 or early 2025 release. Now, let's talk money. While we're all excited about the cutting-edge tech that the NVIDIA RTX 50 series potentially brings to the table, it's essential to discuss the elephant in the room, the price tag. As of now, NVIDIA has kept mum about the official pricing details. However, if we look back at the trend, the story gives us some hints. NVIDIA's graphics cards known for their high performance have never been particularly wallet-friendly. The RTX 40 series, for instance, raised some eyebrows with its hefty price tag. Considering the rumored improvements in performance, the 50 series might follow suit or even surpass its predecessor in cost. So, if you're eyeing these next-gen GPUs, it's time to start thinking about your budget. Remember, with great power comes an equally great price tag. So, start saving up, as these cards might not come cheap. Let's dive into the specs, shall we? First off, the rumor mill is churning with whispers of a 512-bit memory bus. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with memory buses, think of them as the highways that data travels on. The wider the highway, the more lanes there are for data to zip around on. In comparison, the RTX 40 series has a 384-bit memory bus. So, if this rumor holds up, we're looking at a significant widening of the data highway. That means faster, smoother performance. Moving on, we've got the anticipated support for next-gen technologies like DisplayPort 2.1. Now we know that DisplayPort 2.1 is a big deal because it can support resolutions up to 16K. Yes, you heard it right, 16K, that's 4 times the resolution of 4K, and 16 times that of Full HD. For gamers, this could mean more detailed and immersive environments. For creatives, it could mean more precise color grading, editing, and rendering. Now, let's talk memory speed. There's some disagreement among the rumor mongers about this one. Some are suggesting a 28 Gbps GDDR7, while others are claiming that it could go up to a whopping 32 Gbps. Now, to put that into perspective, the RTX 40 series cards use GDDR6X memory with a speed of 21 Gbps. So whether it's 28 or 32 Gbps, we're looking at a pretty significant speed boost. There is also a buzz about NVIDIA possibly continuing the use of the 12 VHP WR connector, which was first introduced in the RTX 40 series. This has been a point of contention among users due to potential melting issues. However, it's too early to say whether NVIDIA has taken these concerns into account for the RTX 50 series. These initial specs sure sound promising, don't they? Continuing with the specs. Now let's delve into the realm of memory speed. The whispers in the tech world are a bit muddled when it comes to this aspect of the RTX 50 series. Some suggest that we could be looking at a whopping 28 GB piece GDDR7. However, others claim it could go even further, reaching a staggering 32 GB piece. With such contradictory rumors, it's like trying to catch a grease pig at a county fair. Yet, no matter the final number, it's safe to assume that NVIDIA is aiming to knock our socks off with some seriously speedy memory. Switching gears, let's talk power connectors. You might remember the furor caused by the 12-volt HPWR connector in the RTX 40 series. Some users reported melting issues which is, let's face it, not exactly what you want to hear when you're dropping a significant chunk of change on a new graphics card. Well, it seems Nvidia might be doubling down on this. Rumors suggest that the RTX 50 series could also mandate the use of the 12-volt HPWR connector. If true, it's going to be interesting to see how the gaming community reacts to this move. But hey, 
let's not let these rumors dampen our excitement. Sure, there's a lot we don't know yet and yes there are some potential concerns. But let's remember we're talking about NVIDIA here, they're not exactly known for playing it safe are they? They push the envelope, challenge conventions and that's why we love them. Despite the conflicting rumors, one thing is clear. NVIDIA is pushing the boundaries with the RTX 50 series. Whether it's a wider memory bus, lightning fast memory speed or even controversial power connectors, we're in for an exciting ride. So buckle up folks, it's going to be quite the tech journey as we inch closer to the release date. So, what can we take away from all this? Well, the NVIDIA RTX 50 series, poised to be the next big thing in the world of graphics cards, is certainly stirring up a lot of buzz. It's clear that this new generation, also known as the Blackwell architecture, is set to push the boundaries of what we can expect from gaming and graphical performance. As we've discussed, there's no official release date yet, but the rumor mill suggests we might be seeing these powerhouses by late 2024 or early 2025. The timing could be a strategic move to counter AMD's RDNA 4 GPUs, also expected around the same time. Price-wise, no specifics have been revealed. However, if the trend continues and given the potential for improved performance, we're likely looking at a pretty hefty price tag. But as the old saying goes, you get what you pay for. When it comes to specs, the whispers are promising. The flagship card of the RTX 50 series might boast a 512-bit memory bus, a significant step up from the 384-bit of the RTX 40 series. We're also expecting support for next-gen technologies like DisplayPort 2.1, as for memory speed, we're hearing numbers like 28 GBPs GDDR7 and even up to 32 GBPs. However, not all the rumors are rosy. NVIDIA might continue using the 12 VHPWR connector, a component that has raised concerns due to potential melting issues. So, where does this leave us? In anticipation, that's where. With the NVIDIA RTX 50 series shrouded in mystery, all we can do is keep our ears to the ground and wait for official announcements or further leaks. But one thing's for sure, whether you're a gamer, a content creator, or a tech enthusiast, there's a lot to get excited about. With wider memory bus, support for next-gen display technologies, and potentially faster memory speed, the RTX 50 series might just revolutionize the way we experience graphics. The NVIDIA RTX 50 series is still shrouded in mystery, but the leaks suggest it's something to look forward to. Stay tuned for more updates as they come. Well, that's all we have for now. We've journeyed through the labyrinth of rumors, leaks, and speculation surrounding the NVIDIA RTX 50 series graphics cards, the next generation of digital marvels from the tech titan. From a potential late 2024 to early 2025 release to the anticipated technical specs that have us all on the edge of our seats, we've explored the whispers of a wider memory bus, next-gen DisplayPort 2.1 support, and the potential for memory speeds that could reach up to 32 GBPs. But remember, the heart of this community lies in your thoughts and expectations. Are you excited about the rumored specs? Do you think NVIDIA will outdo itself this time? What are your expectations for the Blackwell architecture? Will it be the game changer we're all hoping for? Your thoughts, your voice, it matters. So, don't hesitate to let your ideas flow in the comments section. Let's fuel this conversation, let's stoke this excitement, and let's keep this community buzzing. And of course, as the journey to the official release continues, you can count on us to be your compass, guiding you through the sea of leaks, rumors, and official announcements. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech news and updates. Until next time, keep gaming.